गोविंद सिंह शाह शहन शाह गुरु गोविंद सिंह हक हक गा गुरु गोविंद सिंह शाह शहन शाह गुरु गोविंद सिंह बादशाह दरवेश गुरु गोविंद सिंह शाह शहन शाह गुरु गोविंद सिंह सब तेरा सब तेरा बाबा गुरु नानक देव जी एस अ यंग चाइल्ड इज व्हेन ही वाज अबाउट 18 इयर्स ऑफ एज his father decided to send him to do some business so the father gave him a 20 bloli coins coins in circulation at that time of the suri dynasty and they are commonly referred to as rupees now while he was on his way to the town to do some business he saw some very hungry sadhus so he went to the town and decided that what business is better than actually buying food and grains to feed these hungry sadhus and the hungry villagers so he came back with food he came back with grains and he gave it to the sadhus and the villagers now this incident is very important because it is the forerunner of what we today call the guru ka langar where we actually serve food to everyone in need no matter where he or she is in the world and this has now even expanded to medical facilities we given to the needy and as well as help financially for poor people to set up small businesses on the subject of economics i think the forerunner was guru nanak dev ji he set this trend and which has later developed to a large extent all over the world the ideology of guru nanak dev ji helping the sadhus in using the 20 baloli coins or as we say rupees to feed hungry sadhus had a different purpose it was the inner feeling from his heart he felt that he just can't pass by and leave them as they are they are human beings so he decided to help them and that particular ideology his feelings from the heart has developed and carried on to six in the future and until today when we are donate it is from our inner heart we feel we want to do something good and that a blessing that we have actually received from guru nanak dev ji who started the whole concept the magic of sikhi began with guru nanak dev ji and then transitioned through all the gurus up to guru gobind singh ji conceptualized it and formalized it into the khalsa pant and the teachings were then passed on in the form of guru granth sahib ji maharaj and live on with us with the khalsa up to today and that has given the sikhs and the khalsa forge an identity that allows us to stand out wherever we go and a sikh that walks into a room with his dastar and with a with a dada or for sikh women as well that walk in with full sarup that you know walk into a room we stand out from the crowd we stand apart from the people that are there that makes us recognizable that makes us approachable and that identity is linked to a very distinct set of qualities that are not unique to the khalsa but are very quickly becoming a brand of the khalsa and that are that we are forgiving people we are loving people we are people that serve selflessly we are people that will help in whatever situation if we have one ringgit in our wallet and somebody needs that one ringgit it will be given to them this concept of guru nanak dev ji as we say sacha sauda the true bargain has actually infused into the sikhs the desire to not only earn but to use part of the earnings for the good of everyone in need and this has gone to a large extent today where a sikh feels happy to be able to do some good and it's all the teachings of guru nanak dev ji economic plan that guru nanak dev ji created with the 20 balolis which were used for a good cause there was actually a message to the incoming generations that from the inner parts of their heart they must learn to do good and it served in a big way that today that 20 balolis donation has expanded into millions of dollars to help all those in need this ideology of guru nanak says today spread to all corners of the world wherever the need the necessity arises the sikhs are always there to help out and we have become 
a sort of human refuge for the rest of the human race that at any time someone can look and, and find their identity and they know that if they go to that person they will receive the help that they are looking for. That identity, that presence that this Sarup brings me is something that I enjoy very very much in my life. The identity of the Khalsa is not linked to one people or one race or one geographical location. Anyone that is serving the downtrodden or defending the defenseless or giving hope to the hopeless is Khalsa. Anyone that serves in that capacity for the human race carries the title of Khalsa. As Khalsa is directly derived from the word Khalis which means pure and anyone with pure intentions to help the human race and to, to ensure its existence, to ensure continuing peace on this earth is Khalsa and is part of the Khalsa automatically. And the Khalsa was infused with the vision of loyalty and dedicated service. During this first world war, the British realized that the Sikhs were loyal, they were ferocious in battle and they could be trusted. So they recruited them and took them to the Middle Eastern countries, to Europe and even to China and Malaya. These Sikhs they were not paid a lot of salaries, but wherever they went, they made a life for themselves. And what was the first thing the Sikhs used to get together and do? They make sure they have not forgotten Vaiguru, the Supreme Lord. Their first thing in life was to make a Gurdwara, a place of prayer, where the Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji could be placed. The Gurdwaras in the early days were very minute, a simple structures made of wood and uh, a tap. But it was not what the Gurdwara buildings looked like. It was a place of worship where they could gather together, believe in God and share in the realities and difficulties of life. It is known world round that there is a flag that flies in every nation, that flies in, in every continent, that flies everywhere you go. There is an Ishan Sahib found all over the world, a flag found all over the world and it is in the color of exantic which is like a yellow and that is the Nishan Sahib and people know that if their houses burn down, they can go there and they will get shelter. If they run out of food, at any time of the day, they can go there and, and get food. If they need help, any time of the day, they can go there and get it. If there are floods, as we've seen in Malaysia over the last two years, Gurdwaras very quickly turned from, from houses of worship to hospitals, to support centers, to logistical headquarters for people like United Sikhs, like Sikh Inside. Organizations like these turned Gurdwaras into operational centers that became hope, beacons of hope for people. And the Nishan Sahib became directly relevant to people's lives in ways other than what it traditionally is. It became a sign of hope, it became a sign of help. The economics of Guru Nanak Dev Ji's 20 Balolis eventually led to what we call Daswand. Daswand is actually 10% of one's income to be donated for a good cause. Uh, this was uh, introduced by Baba Bandha Singh Bahadur and later under the Khalsa it was uh, implemented by Nawab Kapoor Singh. This Daswand is used for the good of the Sikh community and it implies things like uh, making Gurdwaras, uh, having the Guru Kolangar in the Gurdwaras, uh, medicines for the poor is another concept that is used for this purpose. And it is important that the Sikhs contribute this one, is important in them, it's natural to them. You don't have to ask a Sikh, you must give this one 10% of your salary. Unconsciously, they will give it. And many times a Sikh will give it anonymously. They don't have to declare. The idea is the left hand should not know what the right hand is, you see. And we believe in that, you know. Give because you feel like giving. Don't have to show to anybody what you plan to donate. By serving not with the intention to only serve people of its kind, but to serve the whole human race. And this was proved many a time. An example was in Aceh when the tsunami had hit and, the, and global seats went across to support the people of Aceh. Very large shipment which cost thousands and thousands of ringgit was taken across containing prayer mats and uh, copies of the Holy Quran for the population of Aceh that had lost their homes and lost their masjids and lost all prayer halls that they once had. And this is again a, a sign of commitment to the, the identity of the Khalsa that we serve everyone and not just our own people. By 1765, the Khalsa Panth was very well established in Punjab and surrounding areas and they declared an independent state of Punjab. To commemorate that event, they issued their first 
silver rupees in Lahore. At the same time, they also issued a religious token with the Vikram Samvat date 1804. Vikram Samvat dates are 57 years ahead of the English calendar. Uh, on this Sikh religious token, they had Guru Nanak Bala and Mardana on one side and on the reverse side they had Guru Gobind Singh Ji. With the same date, fixed date, these coins were used right up to the 1920s. They were circulated in Gurdwaras for the purpose of prayers as well as they were used for the swant. And even the Sikh coins, whatever their denominations were, it was common to at least give a minimum of 10% of your income as this one. Or some people could even give more than that. This was brought up again when the COVID uh, you know, uh, pandemic hit in 2020, when hospitals ran out of oxygen and uh, hospitals and medical professionals ran out of oximeters. And Sikh organizations like Sikh Inside, United Sikhs got together and immediately and at no cost and immediately provided free oxygen concentrators, free oxygen bottles, free oximeters to even government hospitals that had not yet received direct funding from the government. So the Khalsa Forge not only covered gaps in the system but also covered gaps from above that were administrative gaps because of how rapidly COVID spread through the population. The Khalsa Forge was ready almost immediately to serve. And uh, this practice has carried on up to this very day. The Swan has never failed a Sikh. This again was exemplified when the floods hit in uh, Kuala Krai, in Shah Alam, even recently. And this was through COVID. All Sikh organizations immediately picked up the mantle and, and served on the front lines. We did not have boats to rescue people from Sri Muda and Shah Alam. And what did the Khalsa Forge do? In three hours, raised 10,000 ringgit, bought boats and jumped in and got people out of their homes. Okay, the blessings of our gurus have uh, led us finally to be happy with our lives wherever we are. We are a happy, contented people. We always thank God for whatever He has given us. Don't forget, there are always people higher up than us, but don't forget those who are below us. So, be thankful to God for what you are today. Khalsa o hai, jo karda dilo pe raj. Vaise to murge pe sir par hota hai taj. चिड़ियां तो बनांदा है बाज तियां पैना दी रखदा है ए लाज